Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Liberty Bell. We're going to take two fingers from the center, underneath, draw me a dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line to the left, go back to the dot, straight line to the right. I go back to the left and I draw a curved line out and a little bit up on the left and I come to the right and I draw a curved line out little bit up on the right. I go back to the left and I draw a straight line down, come to the right, straight line down. Come back to the left, little straight line in, come back to the right, little straight line in. Now I go back to the left and I go straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. I come up to the very top and I go straight diagonal down on the left and I go straight diagonal down on the right. Now I draw a little curved line connecting the two and on the left side I draw a little straight line out and up. Come back to the right, little straight line up and out. Go back to the left, straight line down straight line over, straight line up, curve, straight line down. Come over on the right hand side, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, little curve down. Straight line connect. I come back on the left. I draw a slightly curved line out on the left slightly curved line down on the right, come back to the left, straight line down and I start to flare it out a little bit, curved line, little straight line, come on the right, draw a straight line down, little flare out, straight line down, come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line up, connect, draw me a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, draw me a skinny straight slightly curved line up, connect. Right in the center I go straight line down, curve line over, straight line up. Now I'm going to do my crack. I go straight line, zigzag, 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 up. I come up to the top and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, connect, skinny, curve line, connect, make a space, curve line, skinny line, curve line, connect. Down at the bottom I'm going to add another, mimic that line again, skinny line up, connect. Now there's some writing on my bell, so this says P-A-S-S a N D S T O W, pass and stow. But the rest of it I'm just going to put scribble scrabble to represent my writing. And there's a little bit on this skinny line. And now I am going to add my decorations. So right here in the center I go straight line, straight line. Straight line connect. Right here I go straight line, straight line, straight line. On the left, straight line, straight line, straight line connect. I come over on the left hand side and go straight line, straight line, straight line connect. One more, straight line, straight line connect. It's symmetrical, so whatever I do on the left, I'm going to do on the right, straight line, straight line. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Now I come back to the left and I draw a slightly curved line, connect, and a slightly curved line, connect on top. I come over on the right and I draw a slightly curved line, slightly curved line, connect. And now I'm ready to color. 
for coloring, I'm going to use a variety of multicultural crayons because it gives me a lot of different browns. I'm going to color my wooden part right here tan. And I am going to color the main bell part tan also. I'm going to come in with my darker brown and I'm going to do my details dark brown to kind of make them pop. This should be dark brown. And I'm going to use sepia to add some brown colored lines just to give it a little bit of depth. So you can go over these and use that darker brown to kind of make it pop a little bit. Okay, let's see what it looks like colored in. Here's my Liberty Bell all colored in, ready to let freedom ring. Okay, bye-bye.